Hey everyone, stick around and let me show you how to make these super easy peanut butter and jelly cookies that only take about 20 minutes. So the first thing we are going to do is sift together all of our dry ingredients. We're going to start with two and a half cups of all purpose flour, one and a half teaspoons of baking soda, one teaspoon of baking powder, and one teaspoon of table salt. Go ahead and sift that all together. Next, we'll get out our stand mixer with the paddle attachment and we'll start working on our wet ingredients. Our first wet ingredient up is going to be one cup or two sticks of salted butter which you're gonna want at room temperature. Our next ingredient up is gonna be the peanut butter. Any flavor, any brand is fine. Creamy or peanut butter is fine either, buyer's choice. And for that, we're gonna need about one cup and you could measure it if you want. I'm just gonna eyeball it a little more. It's not gonna hurt you. After that, we're gonna add one cup of firmly packed brown sugar, light or dark is fine. And we're gonna follow that up with one cup of granulated sugar. And last thing to our wet ingredients is about a teaspoon of some vanilla extract. Then we're gonna add our bowl to our stand mixer with the paddle attachment and beat this on medium speed for about five minutes. After five minutes, your batter should start to look nice and thick and fluffy. And then we're gonna move on to the next step, which is adding two eggs one at a time until they are fully incorporated into our mixture. And the last thing we gotta do is take our flour mixture and slowly, little by little, add that until it is fully combined. After everything is fully incorporated, we're going to scrape down the bowl and scrape off our paddle attachment. And now a little bit of disclosure here, full disclosure. These are absolutely ready to bake right now and it should only take you about 20 minutes to finish this whole recipe. However, if you have the time, I would recommend putting your batter in the fridge for about an hour, which is what I'm gonna do. Or if you even had the time, you could leave it overnight. So again, totally optional, but that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna wrap mine up and stick it in the fridge for about an hour just to develop those flavors even more, and then we're gonna bake them. Okay, so now we're ready to bake. We got a baking dish lined with either parchment paper or one of these nonstick mats. So what we are going to do is take a very small amount of our peanut butter dough, about a tablespoon, roll it around in the palms of our hands until we get a nice bowl, and then place it on our baking sheet. Repeat those same steps for the rest of your batter and place them about two inches apart. Yes, I know that's a very generous two inches right there. Now you're gonna wanna go around and give each of your balls a little pat pat. Yo, 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 who comes up with this? Who writes the script for this? Get out of here, yo. Then we're going to take our thumb and go around to each of the balls and make a slight indentation. And this is going to hold our jelly while our cookie bakes. Okay, now I got some raspberry jam in a piping bag. And I know I just said jelly, but jam is what you want. And as far as the flavors, any flavor you want, you could use grape, strawberry, raspberry, apricot. Really, that's up to you. Again, buyer's choice. So we'll continue filling all of our cookies up with our jam. And then we're gonna give it a tapa tapa just to help that jam settle a little bit and get it flat. And then these are gonna go into a 350 degree oven for 12 minutes. Okay, our cookies are finished baking. They are fresh out of the oven. What we are going to do now is let them rest on our baking sheet for about five minutes, and then we are going to move them to a wire rack to cool completely. And one last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna hit these with a little bit of powdered sugar, which is gonna be for decoration, but it's also gonna add a little bit more sweetness, which is always good. And that's it, our peanut butter and jelly cookies are finished. And let me tell you, these peanut butter and jelly cookies were something else. The peanut butter cookie was soft and tender. That ooey gooey jam was nice and delicious. I used the raspberry one and I think it came out perfectly. I think it complemented the peanut butter cookies perfectly. Let me tell you, if you love peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, you definitely gotta make this. If you love peanut butter, you gotta make this. If you love jam or jelly, you gotta make this. These are awesome. All right, y'all, that's it for this video, and that's it for me. I'ma see y'all in the next one. Subscribe for more. Bye.